Hello, I am Yoshi Bayomurti from Pharmaceutical Biology Department of Kacamata University. Welcome to Marine Pharmaceutical Lecture Series. This is the first topic, Indonesian True Flow and Marine Biodiversity. Indonesian marine environment are in the center of marine biodiversity or well known as marine biodiversity triangle. Number of coral species are over 500 every square kilometers which located over 50,000 square kilometer reef area. This area contains approximately 76% of world coral species and 37% of the world's coral reef fish species. How this phenomena could be happen? Why marine biodiversity accumulated in this area? We will discuss further. Indonesian marine is situated as a big archipelagic country in the tropical area, in the middle of two ocean, Pacific Ocean and Hindia Ocean, has clear photic sea water, uh, it has high nutrient availability. With this uh, situation and then uh, together with the movement of uh, seawater around uh, Indonesian archipelago, it has uh, more advantage. Ocean water are moving around the globe look like a giant conveyor belt. It's moving from deep, cooler and denser seawater to shallower, warmer and less dense zone. This movement driven by salinity and thermal difference and also wind over the sea surface. Based on a Purba and Khan report, there are many upwelling locations found around Indonesia archipelago. Majority related to high marine biodiversity in the eastern part of Indonesia. What is uh, upwelling phenomenon and why this is important to the marine biodiversity? Upwelling is an oceanographic phenomenon of rising current from deep sea water to surface of shallow area. It's driven by thermal, salinity and wind effect. Sea water moves from dense, high salinity and cooler to lower density and warmer area. Upwelling phenomenon mostly contain nutrient rich water which can be detected from high phytoplankton concentration zone in the surface of seawater. Deep seabed are rich in nutrients as result of dead animal decomposition. Dead marine organisms sink to the bottom of the sea and decompose by microbes resulting nitrates, phosphate and silicic acid. When they broke to the surface by upwelling phenomenon, these nutrients are utilized by phytoplankton along with dissolved carbon dioxide and the help of light energy from the sun to produce organic compounds through the process of photosynthesis. Upwelling region therefore result in very high level of primary production, the amount of carbon fixed by phytoplankton in comparison to other areas of the ocean. They account about 50% of global marine productivity. High primary production propagates up the food chain because of phytoplankton are the base of oceanic food chain. Let's we combine the marine biodiversity zone and ocean water movement conveyor belt uh, maps. When it's combined, is it clear to see the role of seawater movement through Indonesian archipelago, carrying nutrition from the deep sea bed, rising to the surface by upwelling phenomenon, delivering huge amount of nutrition to this zone, and then propagate up the food chain and push the marine biodiversity. Okay, thank you for your attention. See you in the next topic.